So in this video, we are going to be setting up product rich pins for Pinterest for your Shopify store. So this lets you have additional information about your products that's displayed on Pinterest. And it's a really cool technique to use. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up for your store. So this is actually our third video in this series of four videos all about Pinterest and Shopify and how well they work together. So in this video, we are going to be showing you how to set up the Pinterest rich pins for your Shopify store and how to validate that everything's working correctly. Now, if you haven't seen our other videos yet on how to do other things on Pinterest, like claiming your website or adding in the conversion tag, then you definitely need to check those out. And I will link them in the info cards above and the description below. So in the last video of this Pinterest series, we are going to be interviewing a just killer Pinterest expert, Kara Chase, and picking her brain about how to set up a Pinterest strategy for your Shopify store. You do not want to miss this. So hit that subscribe button to be the first to be notified when we put that new video out. So let's go back into what this video is about today, which is product rich pins. So product rich pins are really cool to use for Pinterest and connect with your Shopify store because it lets Pinterest actually have additional information about your products. So you can tell Pinterest the latest price of your products, the availability, like if it's in stock and also additional product information. So it's a really great way to have all of this sent to Pinterest. So anytime, that either you pin a product on your site or a customer does, all of this is being added in correctly and there's the most information in that pin as possible. So it's a great way to just make sure that your products are being displayed correctly on Pinterest and that all the information is correct. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up for your Shopify store products, but it's really simple. We're just gonna be adding a little bit of code to your Shopify theme to actually pull in all this information automatically. And then we're gonna to go to Pinterest's site and just validate that it is set up correctly. And then once you have that information that is set up correctly, then you can then apply to be part of their rich pin program and be able to include this for your pins. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into my computer screen now and I'm gonna show you how to get this set up. Okay, so I am back in my Shopify store backend and now we are going to add in the code for the rich pin data to be pulled automatically from our Shopify store anytime someone pins one of our pins. So I am here under online store and then themes and this is our active theme here and I'm just gonna go to actions and edit code. And my theme.liquid file pulls up automatically, but if yours does not, you'll just look under the layout area and click on theme.liquid to find that file. So now you're gonna be looking for the head tag. So you can see here a, a beginning opening head tag. And then if we scroll down, you can see here the other head tag. So you're gonna to wanna to add it in between these two areas. Now you can see here, we already have our Pinterest code to claim our website from the first video here, to set up the conversion tag from the second video here. So we can just add it to all of this information already. So I'm gonna just add, hit enter a few times and we can paste our code in here. Now let's go to the Pinterest developers area and we can copy the code for our site. So I will put a link to this in the description below, but here you have your information about Pinterest product pins, and you can see we are gonna be using the open graph method, and the rich pin data that we are going to copy is just right here. So we're gonna copy everything between these two head tags, and we're gonna head back to our Shopify store and paste it in. Now this is just an example that Pinterest gives you of how you can mock it up. However, we need to add in some code to actually test to see if it is a product page because we only want this showing up on the product page. We don't want this to be pulling in for a home page because that won't be correct. And we wanna make sure that this is going to be dynamically pulled in information about each individual product on our site. We don't wanna have it just a default text for every single one and we want to make it individual for each product. So I'm going to go ahead and change this out here to work with 
what we need it to do. However, I'm gonna speed through this process and actually have this code that you can copy exactly how it is to work and pull in dynamically for your Shopify store. And I'll have a link to this in the description below of where you can copy this code that I've edited to work with Shopify stores. So make sure to check that out and replace this on your site. Okay, so now we have this set up and I'm just gonna hit save. And again, I will have a link for you to download this below in the description. So now we just need to actually go in and validate this with Pinterest. So I'm gonna click over here. I already have this tab pulled up for Pinterest developers of our Rich Pin Validator. And I will also put a link to this in the description below. So we're gonna head back to our Shopify store and I'm gonna click on this I next to online store to see our store and we're gonna to navigate to a product page. Okay, and I'm just gonna click on this collection and I'm just going to choose a product because we need to actually verify that this is gonna be pulling in correctly because we've only added this data to pull in on a product page. So we're just gonna copy this URL and then we're gonna head over to our Pinterest Rich Pins Validator and I'm gonna paste in this URL and hit validate. Okay, and you can see here, it says that we have, it's been verified that the information is correct on our site and our Rich Pins have been approved on Pinterest. You can also see that it's pulling in our URL here, our site name, our favicon. You can see all of what it's pulled in and again, more information about our product rich pin. So it pulled in the hedgehog poster, which again is what this is, and the price for it, the availability, and the currency. So we've got all of that set up and now we are good to go. And so you don't have to do this verification process for every product on your site. Now that we have gotten it approved for one page or one product on our site and they've tested to make sure all the information's there, now the rest of your site will have this information. So you don't have to do this process of validating each individual product URL. You just have to do one to show Pinterest that you have the correct information on your site and then you're gonna be approved. And that's all you have to do. So make sure to click the link in the description area below to download the full code that I have edited to pull in dynamically your information from Shopify so it works for all of your products. So I hope you found this video tutorial helpful and make sure to comment below if you have any questions about how to get this set up on your Shopify store or if you ran into any issues. Again, our last video of this series is all about a Pinterest strategy for your Shopify products. And I'm so excited to be bringing on Pinterest expert Kara Chase. So you don't wanna miss that video. Make sure to click subscribe below to be the first to be notified when we put out that video and others all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.